is Taryn Packer, and I'm a simulation sports specialist here at Go Engineer. Today I'd like to talk to you about something that happens to me every once in a while, and that's after I run an analysis, I'll get simulation results like you can see on the screen. But they sit in their results folder for a little while, like a couple of months or a couple of years, things can get moved around and results can get lost. So instead of being able to come back into the file and find the results just like this, let's say that the results are moved to a new folder. So I'm just going to create a new folder here, call it lost results. And let's just say the results are moved for some reason. Now when I come into my simulation folder, I get this error message, database not found. And I really don't know why it's not found. One of my coworkers could have moved the results, something else could have happened to the results. So what I've found is if I can go into my folder structure and go into and look around a little bit, go into the folder where my results actually are, like this is their new results file, they're not there. But if I go into the last results file and go into results, all my results are here. And I know that the correct results because the very first name on any simulation results file is the name of the part file or the assembly. The second name is the name on the simulation tab itself. So I know these are the correct results because they're spring last simulation results. As you can see up here, you have spring and my tab is last simulation results. So I either need to move my results back to the original location or map my simulation to this new location. So let's go ahead and map it to the new location. Right click the very top of your simulation tree, go into simulation properties. Then down here on results folder, click on these, this button with the three little dots on it. And I'm going to move to this lost results folder. Click on results in the lost results folder. And then click select folder, press OK. Now my results are back. So this doesn't always work in all cases. Sometimes results as they're being moved around or copied uh, can be completely corrupted. And in those cases, you do have to rerun your studies. But every once in a while, you can get lucky and the results can be moved or maybe the part files moved or something like that. And you can go and find your results and remap them to the location that they're at or move the results back to the original location that your simulation is mapped to in the first place, and that'll do the trick as well. This has been Taryn Packer on Finding Lost Results. I hope this video has been useful for you. Mm -hmm.